Hello, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. My name is Kimmy, and I'm very happy to have you here today at my channel. First of all, I would like to take a very brief moment to thank all of you who have been donating to the channels. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for your donations to this channel. Truly appreciate it. With your donations, I have bought a backdrop, which I'm absolutely loving this, you know, mandala back here on this uh, this screen. <laughs> um, I also bought a, a, a backdrop stand, so that's what we see behind me, which is allowing me to sit in a more comfortable location to do these recordings for you, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I also have some tabletop lighting, which is running right now, yay. Very excited about that, it kinda helps make up for the loss of some of the natural lighting, so thank you. We have the Lenormand deck, which we will be adding next week, not this week. We also have the Steampunk Tarot, which we will also be adding next week, not this week. And I've been very intrigued by the tarot dice. You know, they're kind of new. So I do, I did get a set of the tarot dice. The only bag I, I had available to put them in was my belly dancing skirt bag. So yeah, I'll have to get a new bag for that soon. So, you know, we'll just kind of deal with it for now. But, um, <laughs> but thank you very much for your donations. If donating to the channel is something that is of interest to you, there is a link down below in the description box. Um, there will be no extendeds for these weeklies because I'm working on getting the videos out for the Patreon channel. I'd really like to release that this weekend. So, um, you know, allow me that extra time to do that. I truly appreciate it. Um, so we are going to move on to the weekly. But if you're brand new here, We'd love to connect with you further. Please be sure to click that lovely subscribe button down below. And uh, for those of you that are interested in my live video streams, I do them Monday and Thursday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. Now, I'm a Pisces. I tend to run just a wee bit late. So it'll be somewhere between 9.30 and 9.40. You'll see me log in. So keep an eye out for that. They usually go about two hours long, so you might want to make some popcorn, you know, crack open a beer, grab some wine or some water, whatever it is that, that you would prefer to have. But, you know, come on over, join in the chat, and connect with the other viewers there that they've they formed a really nice, tight kind of group, and, and it's really quite fun and um, very lively sometimes. We get very lively, so love to have you join us there. And also while you're here, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button because it helps the video to get out to others who might be in need. Um, these are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with you. That's okay. Sweep aside the stuff that doesn't take what does. All right, let's move on over to your reading and see what this week brings you. Hello Libra, you are last for today. Last for the week, but not least. <laughs> Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Let's see what August 26th through September 1st brings for you. August 26th through September 1st. August 26th through September 1st. Libra. Felt like we had a flipper and we did. The moon. The moon, the moon, the moon. The moon. The fool. Two very strong energies there. Major Arcana. Libra, please, spirit. What have you got for Libra? Libra. Oh, beautiful. Two of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six of Wands. Don't have any water nearby. Might need to pause. One more for Libra, please, Spirit. One more for Libra. Five of Wands. All right. Strength. Four of Swords, probably taking taking a little bit of a break. So it looks like um, with the Strength card here is your overall energy, Libra. There's some particular situation 
that you have been going through that may feel as if it's just like a constant battle. You may be feeling a little bit weak because we do have this, this card of, of taking some time to recharge. But although you may be feeling like, you know, you need this time to recharge, you know that after you've taken this time, you can have that confidence and that strength again. With that strength card, there could be a particular person in your life that, that you seek advice from or that you seek guidance from that's also giving you um, a sense of peace and strength as well. Libra, right here at the very center of your spread, we have the Two of Wands. You needing to make some sort of decision on how to take action. This particular card is about taking action. Taking action on something you've already chosen. You've already chosen something, just not the direction on how to get there, not how to make it happen. So here we have you needing to take action. Well, in this particular deck, you can either take the path of complete clarity, which you might be waiting for for some time, or step out in faith into the unknown because you know that this is the direction you need to be in. I see you taking the path of the moon where anything that may have been held back from you becomes clear through each step. Mysteries become clear. You trust your intuition. You make that forward movement because you know this is your direction. This is your path. This is where you're supposed to be. This particular direction, this particular action involves a brand new beginning of some sort with the fool. Once again, taking a leap into the unknown. You're making a choice to move into the unknown but it's in a direction that is known to you, a reason for taking that direction. Hmm. We're gonna take some clarifiers on this, but it's not really clear exactly where you're going, but we do see victory is coming with the Six of Wands here. Victory is at hand with this particular direction. You've chosen, you're going to be choosing the right path, the right direction for you. But I do see that it's going to be a little bit of an internal struggle for you. You may also have to fight other people about the direction that you're going in. Let's go ahead and let's take some cards because these need clarifiers. All right, Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. 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 Why is the moon here for Libra? Woo! Flying cards. Hold on. <laughs> Queen of Wands. The direction that you're choosing, you either may be moving towards somebody with this energy, or this could be you gaining your confidence back, you networking with other people, um, trusting in your intuition, definitely, with the black hat here at the very bottom. Trusting in your intuition. I feel like you you feel a draw to this path. You feel as if you're being called to this path. You feel like it's going to bring you happiness. Why is the fool here? Hierophant, temperance. You know, Libra, I'm not really feeling a, I'm not really feeling a relationship for you. Okay, I know the hierophant can sometimes be that. Um, I'm feeling spiritual growth through this new di new direction. I feel like this new direction either brings some sort of spiritual awakening, something of that nature, or some sort of spiritual growth. It's like you're spreading your wings and flying after a period of healing. You may be signing some sort of contract to moving towards something much more peaceful so that you won't be dealing with this constant feeling of perseverance as well. All right, so what's the decision? What is the decision? What is the decision? Why is two wands here? Way too many cards. 
Why is the Two of Wands here? You're waiting on something. Why is the Two of Wands here? You're waiting on some sort of communication. You might not be in communication with somebody. You're trying to decide if you're going to talk with them. It's been heartbreak with the Three of Swords. You're waiting on the clarity. It's like you don't want to take that step out in, in an unknown direction. It's like you, you're waiting on clarity from a person. You're waiting to hear from one specific person. That you're heartbroken over. It's likely why we have spiritual growth instead of um, a connection. Now, for those of you that are married or in a long-term committed relationship, um, this leap of faith may be in a new direction away from that. But, um, or perhaps you are looking for a new relationship. Still feel spiritual growth, though. Six of Wands. <laughs> All right, so victory is coming. So this particular new leap of faith that you want to take that you've been very patient about is you are you are hoping to hear from somebody about wanting if you're in a long-term committed relationship you're wanting to resume a connection please excuse the dog down the hall it's a little puppy it's a little loud i think it's done um so you, you those of you that are not in Apparently, I'm not meant to speak that. So, <laughs> I won't go in that direction. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the dog over my microphone or not. But that dog is darn loud. My dog does not bark. <laughs> so, um, you have victory coming here, Libra. After something that happens unexpectedly, a decision is made with regards to love. A decision is made. Now, is this decision going to be positive or negative, Spirit? And what's the decision that's going to be made? What's the decision that's going to be made? What is the decision that's going to be made with regards to the lovers? Please, Spirit, clarify the lovers for us. Brand new beginning. Letting go of the past. Letting go of hurts from the past. Still doesn't tell us anything. New beginning could be with this person or without. <laughs> what more can you tell me about the lovers, please? What more can you tell me about the lovers, spirit? Oh, it's going to make you very happy. What have you been wishing and hoping for? It's going to make you very happy. <gasps> All right, you're getting what you want, Libra. It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a wait, though. But you're getting what you want. You're getting victory. You're getting victory. If you've been, if you've been wanting this, it's coming. Happiness, peace, harmony, togetherness. After letting some struggles go, there's... And this is all after something unexpected. Everybody's getting these unexpected messages. It's like there's... Possibly with the new moon. Something unexpected coming your way. All right, let's get um, let's get romance angels. Oh, it already fell out. <laughs> My apologies. getting what you want, Libra. <laughs> you are getting what you want. 
Looks like this is um, this is a this is a, a connection that's moving towards a very long-term committed relationship. So Libra, that's absolutely beautiful. Let me get you a sacred rebel. I am going to take a couple of the um, tarot dice to see if we can get any additional information because I have been doing that for all the other signs. I'm really liking those tarot dice. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra. I, this is going to come as a complete surprise to you, Libra. This particular, this particular person is coming out of nowhere. Pandora's gift, absolutely beautiful. And against the grain, there's something unconventional about this connection. Let me take a couple um, of the tarot dice for you, and we'll see what else comes up. How many do we want for Libra spirit? How many do we want? Okay. All right, here's the confirmation of our tower that comes in unexpectedly. Oh, my bag just ripped. Um, chariot movement coming in really quickly after that. Somebody's very fearful about it, though. Once again, like I said, somebody's very, very fearful about it. But we have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful, Libra. You're moving in a, in a really beautiful direction. Uh, it does not have a time frame on here, but it's absolutely positively amazing. Wishing you well. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I hope that reading was of help to you and will be a little bit insightful for your week. If you found that not much resonated with you in this video or you want some more information that might, might help you through your week, do be sure to check your other birth chart placements for additional information. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful week. Thank you so very much for stopping by the channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the thumbs up and I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.